All of them need to be sued for defamation because all of them are very easily dispelled because there's no actual eyewitnesses. There's only unnamed sources. Well, here is a named source who spent countless copious amounts of hours with Donald Trump. Citizen Free Press video. Play for me, Will. Nick Ayers, pictured here with President Trump and Kelly during his service. You see him in between Mike Pence and uh, General Kelly there in that picture on the left-hand side. He posted this to X yesterday. Quote, I have avoided commenting on interest staff leaks or rumors or even lies as it relates to my time at the White House. But General Kelly's comments regarding President Trump are too egregious to ignore. I was with each of them more than most, and his commentary is patently false, he writes. And Nick Ayers joins me now. Nick, welcome. Uh, good to have you on the show. Thank you for good being to be here. here. Thank you, Martha. Um, we, we noticed this uh, when it was posted yesterday. So tell me, why have you decided to speak out? Well, I know the president personally, Martha. He is my friend. I know his heart. And this unequivocally did not happen. Full stop. Mm. John Kelly was never to shy to, you know, to point out the senior staff when he differed with the president, often behind President Trump's back. So I can assure you, had those comments been made, the national media would have known, all of us would have known instantly. Moreover, he was, you know, rarely ever alone with the president. Usually Governor Sanders, now Governor Sanders, then White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, or the Staff Secretary or other national security officials, or myself, among many others, we were all together. So I'm saying with certainty, uh, this did not happen. This is only being espoused because John can excuse me, John Kelly's candidate is losing and she's losing badly. Uh, they're desperate to change the subject from a wide open border, which has wreaked havoc in our major cities and on college campuses. It led. Yeah, it's just kind of strange. 13 days out from an election, you're going to resurrect the story from 2022. A story that was debunked then is debunked now. And now Jeffrey Goldberg out of the Atlantic is going to treat this as if it is new material and actual news. It's debunked. It happened in 2022. Now you have Nick Ayers, former chief of staff for Mike Pence, who said he was almost on a daily minute by minute basis in the presence of Donald Trump along with Sarah Huckabee Sanders, and this never happened. I mean, we honestly think that Donald Trump said, I wish I had German soldiers, I mean, German generals, just like Hitler. Man, it was two different occasions. One, he said German, uh, once he said German uh, generals. Next time, Kelly's the one who actually brought up Hitler. You don't mean like Adolf Hitler's generals, do you? I mean, Kelly almost almost admits to trying to entrap Trump, but Trump never said it, regardless of try whether he tried to entrap him or not. And then he also just said, Kelly often, John Kelly, this, this former four-star general, man's man, whatever it may be, he claims that Kelly, John Kelly, as Trump's chief of staff, often went behind his back. You know what you are when you go behind people's back? You're a freaking coward. And I don't care about, listen, I care about his military service, but that does not take away his cowardice in the White House. Right. Doesn't take it away at all. You, need, you got a problem with Trump? Go say it to his face. And he probably didn't want to be fired. Like he ended up being fired. He didn't resign. He was freaking fired. And that's why, that's why, and it's just like Nick Ayers said. The only reason why this is coming back up, a two-year-plus old story, is because Kamala, as, as was is, is the, title of the title of this podcast, is you can smell the desperation. Listen, when Trump is up by two points in national polls, it's over. The only way they can win is by cheating. And that's why everyone needs to go out and outvote the cheat. Everyone needs to get out, get out and vote early. I know everyone's on the right. A lot of us tend to be against early voting. I believe it's, uh, uh, you know, that election day should be a national holiday. Everyone goes and votes. I believe that's what it should be on day of. And that's what, that's not where we're at now. So when you are in a machine gun fight, you don't bring brass knuckles. We have to go right now and play the game, the game as the rules are set right now. Otherwise you're going to play by play in a game by rules that don't exist in the game that hinder you, you're going to lose the game. So everyone needs to get out and vote and vote early. All right, so we all need to make sure that we are doing that. And the reason why John Kelly is putting out this story, the reason why Jeffrey Whore Goldberg is putting this out is because they can smell the desperation. I mean, when Trump's up by two points nationally, the Republicans never up nationally. 
He was down to Biden by seven to nine points right now. He was down to Hillary 16 points at this point. So when he's up by 2% and tied or winning in every swing state, and some of them that they're even counting sort of as pseudo swing states like Minnesota, he's right there. In Virginia, he's right there. That's why John Kelly, who is a devout globalist leftist bourgeois elitist, disguised as a Republican, that's why, and that's most of the Republican Party, by the way, and I'm a devout Republican, when I go and vote, and when I vote early, I'm going to go like this. Where are all the R's? Beep, 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 beep. I won't even look at their name. So I'll make sure, double check, I voted for Trump. But anyway, so I mean, I love the Republican Party platform, but I don't love a lot of Republicans.